Well, it is a milestone on the half shell for the BC Shellfish Growers Association celebrating this year its 60th year of operation. Now, one of the reasons that the industry has been so successful is that its members are constantly on the lookout for ways to become more efficient. And one oyster processor in Bowser has found the way to do just that, investing in some of the world's leading shucking technology. A News reporter Gord Kerbis has the story. With the introduction of a fresh batch of oysters, workers in this Bowser processing plant are preparing more of their product for market. They're sorting, cleaning and packaging the shellfish much the way they have in the past, except now with the assistance of one new piece of technology. This machine is the most advanced in the world um, as it has a 3D camera, so it not only does the length and width, width but also the depth of the oyster, and that's the first um, that I know of its kind in the world. The Shell Quip is a computerized machine developed in Tasmania that takes the guesswork out of grading oysters. Using two 3D cameras, it measures oysters in the shell within one millimeter and then sorts them into different sizes. It does all this at the speed of between five and six oysters every second. The size variance is really critical. And we were moving 50 to 60,000 oysters a week, and there was a lot of decisions that had to be made on every oyster. So this machine will remove that subjective grading component. Keith Reed of Stellar Bay Shellfish says having size consistency is vitally important to his clients. They did receive financial assistance from fisheries and oceans for the purchase, and now others are eyeing the technology. In fact, we have uh, another processor coming down later this afternoon to look at the machine. Uh, so he can make a determination whether or not this is something he wants to integrate into his business. For many industries, the introduction of technology or equipment can mean the loss of jobs. But in the case of this new oyster sorter, it's actually making the process easier for employees. What it does is it takes some of the dumb work out of the job and, 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 and it allows their productivity go up and it allows us to pay them more. Reed says he spent a great deal of time researching the right equipment to do this task before finally settling on the Tasmanian version. I've traveled um, to quite a few places in the world, uh, France, Italy, and this is one of the nicer machines that I've found. He's already been tweaking it by designing and custom building this motorized device to allow for easy unloading of the oysters straight from their trays. It, it doesn't affect the quality of the oyster itself. That quality still comes from the ocean, from clean water. But what it does is it takes a lot of the back-breaking work out of handling um, the, the oysters. Just a little something to think about next time you're chowing down on an oyster. In Bowser, Gord Kerbis, A News.